Today's review of this oscilloscope multimeter did not go as planned at all. This ended up taking a couple of weeks for me to finally get around to figuring this thing out. I was 100% convinced it was defective and so were other YouTubers and so were the uh, review comment section on Banggood's website that the millifarad, now it has, it has a millifarad, not a microfarad, but a millifarad, millifarad range, which is great, but it doesn't seem to be working. And I was checking with other people, other YouTube reviewers that reviewed the same meter, and they also said they couldn't get the millifarad to work. Until I was reading one of the comment sections, and Sebastian here pointed out that you don't use the common negative for measuring the capacitance range. You have to switch over to the positive where it says cap, and then the other side it has a dedicated jack for the millifarads. Then it gets a reading. Absolutely crazy, and I think even the owner's manual is wrong too. But I was 100% convinced this thing was defected. defective. Turns out it was just me not understanding how to use it. So now that that is out of the way, I'm going to get started with the rest of the review. Banggood Multimeter Review. Get a pouch. Huh. Gonna need some batteries for this one. So I'm seeing the bag of meter leads here and it looks familiar. These guys here, if these are what I think they are, I'm quite excited. I hope these are the fine point sharp ones. Uh, not exactly. Let's see. Let's compare them to these. Okay, so they're not quite as fine tip as I like. But these leads do look a step above the normal garbage leads that we get with the cheap multimeters. Okay, let's take a look at the meter. So we got millivolts, volts, system turn on. Hmm. Kind of cool text. Let me see if I can get rid of some of the glare on the screen here. Okay, so I'm trying to get myself familiar with this thing. Um, if you hold down R, that puts it in oscilloscope mode. And there we have my square wave. Well, I know it's not a perfectly square wave, but you know, we're dealing with what we're dealing with here. Let me try a uh, sine wave. Ah, uh, look at that. And you know what, the, re the, the speed and the reaction time isn't too bad either. Uh, Let's change the frequency. And there's 200 hertz. Let's do 60 hertz. There's a 60 hertz sine wave. Not bad. This is this is kind of nice. You know the size. It's almost identical to my unit T if you don't count the rubber casing. Unfortunately, this didn't come with the little rubber sleeve, but. Uh, that's all right, because this oscilloscope option is kind of cool. Let's see how this thing performs with basic multimeter functions. Uh, not on the parts, kitty. Let's try... Uh, oops. 
We will start with resistance. No. This is a 1K resistor, and we are at 0.99. Next mode is diode check mode. And there we go, 0.4 volts, which is what I expect, and the other way will be open. Okay. Oops, works good, and it is pretty... Pretty quick, too. That's nice. Um, now, I also like to use diode check for testing LEDs. It's just a convenient way to check LEDs. But this is not going to work because it only uses 1.5 volts for diode check mode, where other meters, like, for example, my unit T I keep on my desk. Diode check mode on this multimeter is more around 3 volts. So that is enough to light up to light up LEDs if you get the polarity right, of course. Uh, it helps if you put it in diode check mode. Okay, so there. As you can see, you can uh, get you a little closer here. I can use it for checking LEDs. But this must tool, being that it only uses one and a half volts, it's just not going to be enough to light up a LED. Okay, next mode is continuity. And works good. Quick. All right, does the job. And after that is capacitance. Now this is limited to only 100 microfarads. And this is a 100, 100 microfarad 25 volt capacitor. So this is its maximum limit for capacitance that it can check. Open or over. There we go. Okay, 96 microfarads. That is right. That is correct. Let me try another. Again, I'm right at the right at the maximum range that this meter can do for capacitance. Here's a different hundred microfarad. Oops, come on. there once it settles out we're reading correct okay so yep yeah, this is a 100 microfarad 160 volt okay good it works next mode to try out is the frequency and the percentage so i'm going to hook up my signal generator again and we are at reading 60 hertz and we are at uh yeah we're at 60 hertz square wave 50% duty cycle, and here 59.9 hertz, close enough if you ask me, and if I hit select it should go to duty cycle at 50% duty cycle, and that is correct. Here it is set to DC voltage, got 5 volts coming off the power supply, also being compared with my unit T, and we're at 5.04, close enough for me. And here it is measuring current, again compared with the unit T, hooked up to the power supply set to 1 amp, and we are pretty dang close, again close enough for me. Here is a teardown of the unit. I wasn't originally planning on taking it apart, but I just cannot get the millifarad uh, range to work. And it does have its own separate jack, and I looked over the directions, and that is what you're supposed to use when it's on the millifarad. I thought maybe I popped a fuse, but there is three fuses, which are all fine. Um, they're surface mount fuses, so that's probably going to scare some people away that aren't comfortable with uh, replacing surface mount devices. 
looks like it will have to be disassembled even further to get in there, especially if you want to use hot air. Um, but then this is just a little spring here that makes contact with the RF shielding. It's just kind of like a foil sticker for shielding. Um, yeah, I guess that's about all I can say for the inside. Okay, so just to clarify a few things, the owner's manual is incorrect. It says to use the common negative for testing the millifarad range, which is incorrect. As I showed earlier, you have to use these two jacks. And then to clarify the capacitance range, now the uh, the milli, the I'm sorry, the microfarad range, uh, which uses a different jack, can read up to a hundred microfarads, whereas the millifarad range can read up to ten millifarads. So just to conclude this overall meter, I think you need to set your expectations accordingly. It is only around $50. I think Banggood is having a sale special right now. It's like $52 shipped or something like that. I don't know. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. And no, it is not perfect. Um, but then again, like I said, set your expectations. It's, it's a $50 multimeter that has somewhat of an oscilloscope function. I know I didn't dive really deep into it, but uh, hey, it's not bad, and it's uh, it's not defective uh, after all. So uh, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.